Well, welcome to the Monster Energy FIM Speedway of Nations Race Off 1. And it is all go here. The fans piling in as you join us in Landshop for what is expected to be a very exciting Race Off 1. Well, all of the teams in the pit bay is behind us, but of course, two very familiar faces that you'll know, Calvin and Nigel. How are you doing, Calvin? It's a little chilly. It is a little chilly. <laughs> um, uh, hopefully it won't get uh, any more rain, but um, certainly at the moment, we're all looking like we're going to be going at seven o'clock. We are indeed. Now, some strong teams here tonight, Nigel. Mm. Who are you expecting to see go through? Uh, I think certainly when you look at Poland, they've got an embarrassment of riches when you see the um, magic crash last night and they're able to bring Patrick Dudek in. They're obviously going to be the front runners. I think the host nation here, Germany, will be uh, powerful. Sweden as well. Um, maybe the Italians, the, you know, Nico Cavati is a very spectacular rider, but I would expect the three to be uh, the, the three that I mentioned first. OK, Calvin agreeing? Yes, you can't really look uh, past Sweden and Poland particularly. And the home team with uh, Martin Smolinski, you know, he's going to be fired up. It's his local venue, so I'm expecting fireworks from them. But it'll be a competitive night. OK, thanks, guys. OK, picking up on just a couple of things. First of all, Nigel's saying that Patrick Dudek's in tonight. Well, yeah, he replaces Magic. He had a crash last night. And, well, we've also got a couple of uh, new riders as uh, well that have uh, been replaced for Ukraine. They're replacing Rider 1 and Rider 2. Well, actually, I was just wondering over here because I wanted to find our Team Sweden team manager, Morgan Anderson, but I've lost him somewhere, so I'll come back and try and find him in a minute. Of course, as you said, we are in the pits here. So there are some new rules that come into play for this year. The under 21 rider has to go out once. So that's going to be some kind of team tactics. When's he going to go out? And uh, well, let's just pick back up on what Calvin said as well. Calvin talking about the fact that Poland have such a strong team. The person that they can bring in as a sub is Patrick Dudek. So it is going to be very interesting to see what happens tonight. It is Martin Slominski's uh, home track. So he knows it well. Riders, in Swe riders from Sweden like Freddie Lingren don't actually know this track at all so there's some riders that have not been here and like uh, Martin know this track very very well so let's just give you an idea we're just talking about Germany so this is uh, Germany's pit bay all in their uniform there it is very 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 chilly down here <laughs> it's a very cold night Matty Zager asked me if winter had finished earlier it definitely hasn't finished okay so then we've got the Czech Republic Vaclav Milik, you might know him, you might have heard of him. He's a very strong rider. Certainly going to make an impression tonight. And then Slovenia as well. We were just talking about Matti Zagar. So those are some strong riders. We've got some Grand Prix riders, some Speedway Grand Prix riders here. You heard us talking about Freddie Lindgren. He's going to make an impact. A lot of pressure on him. And Patrick, like we said, a last minute call up. So it's going to be interesting to see who goes through. As you know, seven nations at this weekend, seven nations at next weekend will battle it out and head over to Russia for the final. I'm just going to wander back around because everybody was in a riders briefing. But there are some team managers because, of course, we have our rider one and two and the under 21 as well. And then each nation has got a team manager. I see him. He's got some information in his hands, some paperwork in his hands. So before he goes anywhere, Morgan, where how are you, you doing? Get, where do you get that cup from? Thank you. Oh, we, we can't be talking about fashion when we're live, Morgan. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah I try to running a little bit to keep me warm, you know. I know it's kind of freezing here, isn't it? Mm, mm, windy <laughs> as well, so yeah, but that's, that's same for everyone. <laughs> All right, ready to race tonight, Freddie? You strong man out there. Team looking good. Yeah, I think so. We haven't been on the track. They're going to take the cover off now, and then we're going to see how it looks like and try to set up the bikes after that. Okay. Well, you said uh, taking the covers off. That's because we've had no practice. Does that affect your guys much? Because you're a bit of an underdog in terms of not knowing this track as much as say the German team. No, but that's four laps and turn left, you know, so hopefully we can sort it out somehow. But uh, of course, a practice would be good, but it's nothing we can do anything about and just go out and race. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. That's what you need. A team manager that makes it as simple as that. Four laps, turn left. It's as easy as that. 